Hello, I'm Lima Alpha 6, November Charlie Alpha. I'm now in Christianus Sextus Mine in Røros, Norway. I will now make a video about an invisible antenna and a small spy radio in a matchbox. Welcome to the historic Christianus Sextus Mine. These impressive ruins are part of the UNESCO World Heritage Site in Reros. This is my whole radio station, all inside three simple matchboxes. The first box holds the power supply, a 9-volt battery. Next is the equipment box, with a headphone and the Morse key. And finally, here's the most important part, the transmitter and receiver. This is the dipole antenna itself. It's split into two parts, and each part is 19 meters long. I made the antenna from a thin 0.3 millimeter wire wrapping cable. I chose the blue color specifically to make the wire nearly invisible. The entire radio station is now set up on the mine stones. You can see the headphones and Morse key ready to go, while the antenna wires are strung up and attached to a wooden structure. As you look out across the historic mine site, you can see the ruins and the vast landscape. Somewhere in this view is the antenna. Look closely, and you'll notice the two thin antenna wires strung up between the wooden structures. Because the wire is so fine and its color blends in with the surroundings, it's almost impossible to spot. This is the main point of this whole project, to show that you can build a highly effective radio station with a dipole antenna that is nearly invisible to the eye. It's a secret setup, hidden in plain sight. Now, I'm sitting on the mine stones with the full station set up. Everything is connected and ready. It's time to make a call. I'm sending Morse code with the small key. Since there's no side tone, getting the timing right is a bit tricky, but it's working. I'm sending the call. I can hear some signals. He's adjusting his transmitter to my frequency. To complete the contact, it's critical that he transmits on the exact same frequency as me. He's replying to my call. He's listening to my tiny signal on a remote-controlled receiver in Julius Stalin, which is 169 kilometers from here. And he's transmitting to me from Oslo a distance of 300 kilometers. He's giving me a report of RST549. The numbers mean my signal has perfect tone, good readability, and solid strength. He can hear me at the receiver in Yulia Stalin, but he can't hear anything at his location in Oslo.
There are thousands of mosquitoes and they are biting me constantly. It makes it a bit difficult, but I'll keep going. My report to him is RST529. That's perfect readability, but a weak signal strength. Without a side tone, it's still really tricky to know what I'm sending. I'm just going to send our call signs now to finish the contact. He's sending, thanking me for the signal report. He's now sending his final signals to end our contact. Yes, sir. That was uh, successful with the invisible antenna. This is the antenna. And uh, I had a successful QSO with Lima Alpha 5 Mike Tango. So this video was all about demonstrating the possibility of sending and receiving messages while staying completely hidden. My entire radio station was concealed within matchboxes, and the antenna itself was a nearly invisible dipole. The result? A uh, complete success. I managed to make contact with the station hundreds of kilometers away, all while using just 0.3 watts of power. I'm definitely going to make a new video where I test the properties of this unique antenna more thoroughly. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching uh, this video. If you like it, please uh, subscribe. It's free. And uh, please write a comment below. Thank you.